Hey everyone, um, it's me again, um, coming to you from my dressing room this time and without a beard because I had a bit of a meltdown and decided to shave it off this week. Um, but I just thought I'd do another little video, um, kind of about the On The Bench WhatsApp group that I've been mentioning. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, it's just a group for people who are furloughed in the digital PR industry at the minute. Um, it's just a really great way of sharing resources. Everyone's sort of really propping each other up, being really helpful. You know, if you're having a down day and sort of missing the industry, missing being plugged into it all, it's really good to know that other people are in the same boat and we're all sort of sharing resources and sort of our own experiences, which has been really nice. Um, so some of the feedback we've had from this week is that there was um, some really good content out there. Um, there was a really good Women in Content uh, webinar by Kirsty Hulse. Now, Kirsty does some really good stuff anyway. Um, I think the recording's available for it, so definitely check it out if you can. Um, brand content have been sharing some really, really good and useful stuff as well. Um, I know Rachel Bisenye, um did a really good session on news jacking um, and sort of reactive PR, um, which a lot of people are usually quite interested in and want to learn a little bit more about. Um, and also there was a webinar about TikTok that General Assembly did. Um, it's been quite interesting, really. I, me, personally, and a lot of people in the group have been talking about how we want to do a little bit more training and sort of research into using social media in PR. Um, and I suppose this is a bit of a call to arms, really, but I've struggled, to be honest, to find some really good online resources about social media in the industry, stuff that is maybe at a bit more intermediate level than for a beginner. Um, and quite a few people have said the same. So if anyone does know of any maybe PR or SEO specific um, social media training courses or just resources to share or anyone out there is really good at it and wants to um, sort of offer a bit of their time to train somebody then that would be really useful and something that I think people are crying out for a little bit. Um, so last week I spoke about like good and bad PR campaigns or things that I'd seen in the week. Um, I feel like it's been a bit quieter this week to be honest but there's a good few ones that I sort of picked out. Um, a sort of really wholesome one that I saw was from Heinz. So Heinz have started this Heinz to Home service, which is basically a delivery service of your favourite Heinz products. So that's like condiments, beans, spaghetti hoops, all that kind of jazz. Um, and if you're a key worker, you can get free delivery, as Heinz has, has sort of spotted that a lot of people are struggling to get really basic essentials at the minute. Um, I just thought that was really nice. And the branding of it is sort of really in keeping and just works really nicely. Um, but the best thing I've seen in the past week which I love is from a brand new brand um, called Hun um, and they're basically a company that are making canned wine so you know you get your pre-mixed G&Ts in a can where you can now get cans of like rosé and Zinfandel and whatever um, and I'm a massive fan of like Hun culture anyway if anyone knows what that's about like if you don't already follow it follow Hun's net and follow Love of Huns on Instagram it's amazing um, but their advertising for this has been brilliant and they've really sort of owned up to the fact that they're launching a product at a really, really interesting time. Um, they had loads of out outdoor advertising that they'd bought. And what they've done is they just put the billboards out there and said things like, did you see our new advertising campaign? No, didn't think so. Um, today is May the 4th, which many of you know is uh, International Star Wars Day. Um, they've even made a joke about launching it on an internationally recognised day to sort of contend with Star Wars. Um, it's just really clever. And I think the way that they're launching a product in a really unprecedented time is something to sort of look at. Um, so they're called Hun. Check it out. Um, and there's not really been any like PR disasters or anything I've seen this week. But I did see that obviously I mentioned it's Star Wars Day today. It always baffles me a little bit how many brands like to jump on this. Um there's been a few conversations on Twitter and stuff before about brands shoehorning themselves into conversations around things like Pancake Day and Star Wars Day is just one that I've seen like insurance companies sort of mentioning Happy Star Wars Day. And I know it's just a bit of fun, but it baffles me a little bit. Um, yeah, but that's that's this week's update, I suppose. If anyone does have any really good resources they'd like to share or wants to join um, the On The Bench group, then please just message me. Um happy to add you in and also it'd be really good to share with everyone sort of resources that people might not have spotted um so yeah thanks guys